at DX3 with Matthew from Hot Pop Factory. Thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. I've been familiar with your company for a while now. As I've known the company, you started out doing custom jewelry, 3D printing. Can you talk about those early days and how you've transitioned? Yeah, definitely. So we started out doing 3D printed jewelry, basically. And because 3D printing is really popular in the mainstream right now, it got it garnered a lot of attention. And we've since expanded to do all types of 3D printed design, basically. What type of stuff are you doing now? So a lot of our work centers in the art and design community and with creative agencies. So we do large installation projects, which end up in museums, as well as kind of fine artwork and, of course, custom jewelry and things like that. It's such an interesting space, yet people do not yet understand how 3D printing works. Can you give us a very simple explanation? Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, the technology can seem a little bit frightening, but we tell people it's like an, a kind of a glorified computer-controlled glue gun. It moves around uh, one layer at a time and adds material and gradually builds an object up in three dimensions. That's a very good explanation. <laughs> what are some of the most complex things you've ever printed? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, our jewelry, it was sort of a, an originally uh, an exploration of form, of making things that weren't possible to make by hand. Because you're using a com computer-controlled tool, you can do much more elaborate types of geometry. And have you ever done anything really large? Yeah, so we've done like uh, full-scale, life-size installations using 3D printing and then other technologies like laser cutting, which work in the same way but are, are slightly different processes. I've seen online that you've gotten a bit of attention for something that you did 3D print a few months ago, which is the Rob Ford uh, pipe, <laughs> I guess. I guess you would call it more of a design piece. Yeah, definitely. So since a lot of our work is in the art and design community, we did this satirical kind of art piece around Christmas time called the Ford pipe, where we actually took Rob Ford's head, sculpted it tediously, and then 3D printed it on, on an actual pipe as kind of a promotional piece. So how difficult it is, is it to do not just the pipe, but other products like this? I mean, how long can it take you to print a project? That's a really good question. So 3D printing, it's all about size. There's a trade-off for, you get flexibility with 3D printing, but the trade-off is time. So first there's kind of a sculptural artistic piece where you model the form you want to recreate. Then the 3D printer itself, because it goes layer by layer, it's a process that can take hours and hours in some cases. And so that's why applications in kind of the art and design world seem like the ideal place for the technology. So are you an artist or are you a geek? <laughs> or both? Yeah, definitely both. I mean, you have to have the technical acumen to make it happen as well as sort of the design sense, you know, to, to design something appealing.